everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, now you know. And you guys, today I'm bringing you my first Sephora haul of 2021. That is right, you guys. I wanted to do a quick little Sephora haul with you. I actually have a full face of Sephora in here that I wanted to uh, share because it's been a while since I've done a Sephora haul. It's been it's been a minute. So I wanted to uh, show you the things that I got. And if you're new to this channel, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. Don't forget you and click the subscribe button to become part of this weird, awesome, amazing family. And I'll have my Instagram linked right up here and in the description if you want to check me out and give me a follow over on Instagram. I would really really appreciate it we're doing a lot of fun reels and videos and posts and stuff over there so if you do give me a follow over on Instagram I thank you so so much in advance but let's get into this haul okay so I actually found quite a few things in Sephora that I wanted to try things that were brand new these are all new items to Sephora first thing I've got here is the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator <gasps> That's a mouthful. <laughs> so I got mine in the shade 20 Fair, and I love me a good tinted moisturizer, so I'm always into trying new ones. And here is what the packaging looks like. It looks super cute. I like the drippy kind of effect that it has on, on the packaging. So I am into that. I can't wait to try this out. Also, if you haven't seen my last video, I played with the collection from Glow by Auric. I'll have the video linked right up here for you because it's going to go up before this haul does. So if you haven't seen that video, I'd highly recommend it. That's what I'm wearing on my face today. Next, I got this from Mother Pat McGrath. And this is one of her new lip kits it is the crimson couture lip kit so it is a red and I actually saw this on Pat McGrath's website and then I didn't realize it was actually gonna be in Sephora and then I saw it on the Sephora website and I was like <laughs> I want that I love Pat McGrath as you know but I don't have very many of her lipsticks I've got plenty of her eyeshadow palettes so they're all up here but I don't really have very many of her lipsticks, so I wanted to try this out. It comes with a lip liner. These lip liners are freaking amazing. It's the Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Bloodlust. And then here is the lipstick itself, and it is in the shade Elsin 3. And it looks so pretty. I actually have used this. I haven't used it in a video, but I just used it the other day when I got it because I just couldn't wait. But here is what the shade looks like. It is so beautiful really gorgeous shades I love me a good red and the formula on this was really really great I only wore it for a couple of hours but from what I worn it was really good next up I have this from Charlotte Tilbury this is the Hollywood flawless filter luxury eye palette um, this is in the shade does it say star aura it's in the it's a quad and it's star or a quad I believe there's two options that you can get when it comes to this quad and here is what the packaging looks like super duper pretty and metallic and then the inside looks like this it's very pretty the shades are nice when I bought this I have already done some swatches as you can see but when I bought this I didn't realize all of these were shimmers <laughs> I think that you can still obviously use them as like a transition shade a blending shade or whatever but I've never used a palette that solely shimmers and I don't really know how to do that I don't know how that works but we will definitely give it a shot and I will try my best but I like Charlotte Tilbury palettes I like Charlotte Tilbury in general I think her, her makeup is really good um, so yeah I got this next up I got this from Becca this is the light shifter finishing veil powder it's like a setting powder and I got mine in the shade scattering one it's like the lightest shade they have I think and this is a setting powder like I said the packaging is so cute I like the packaging quite a lot and then here is what it looks like I have not swatched this or tested this yet but I like trying new powders I don't really powder that much I only really powder under my eyes and like my eyelids when I do eye makeup but I only really powder under my eyes but if it's anything like the is it the hourglass like veil powder or something you can use it all over your face and it's not going to make you dry I have very very dry skin and if I use powder on my skin then I just look like a crusty lizard but if it's one of those powders that doesn't make you dry then I'll totally use it all over the face it looks really nice it looks promising I like the packaging I think it looks really cute 
Next up, I got this from Laura Mercier. Um, this is the new Secret Camouflage uh, Concealer. I got mine in the shade 1C. And, oh. and here <laughs> is what it looks like. It's just like a concealer stick. It has two sides. So, well, part of it broke off. I don't know what happened, but part of it broke off. Anyways, so here is the concealer portion. So you would just use that under your eyes or wherever you apply concealer. And then this side, oh, it's a highlight. So this side is like a highlight stick. So you could use this on your cheeks or just wherever you want to highlight. You could use it in your inner corners. So it's a two-in-one product. I'm excited to use this because I haven't tried a new concealer in literal months. I think the last concealer that I tried was a ColourPop Pretty Fresh concealer, but that's been a long time ago. I normally just stick to that and my Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm excited to try this one and see what it's like, so yeah. Next up, I got this from Tarte. I actually got two things from Tarte. I'm so excited about this, and I actually have been using this uh, off camera before I filmed this, and I love it. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm. It's like a lip balm. Yeah, so here is what it looks like right here. You have multiple shades. I got mine in the shade Orchid, and it looks like this, and you just click it up. It's like a little clicky pin style, and you just put it on. It looks like that. It is such... It's a really nice shade as well, and it has a lot of color to it, a lot of pigment, but it is so hydrating. It is so smooth and so luscious. I really, really like this a lot so far. There's like a little mini review for this as well in the haul, but I love this. It's really nice, so, and I want to get other shades, but I got that. And then from Tarte, I got this. It is the Cheeky Clay Mattes Face Palette, and I just wanted to try this because I haven't, I don't know, I haven't tried anything like this from Tarte recently, so here's what it looks like. Here is the packaging. I'm not the biggest fan of this packaging, but it has three face shades. So you have a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight right here. And I mean, the, the bronzer looks pretty promising. It doesn't look too dark. The blush is pretty. Uh, the highlighter, oh yeah, the highlighter is nice. So the blush is over, or the bronzer is over here. And then here is the highlight. And then the blush. Oh, that's a really pretty color as well, right there. I like this a lot more than I thought that I would. But <laughs> I'm not gonna use it on my face right now, but in my next video, I will be using all of these things. So we'll put it to the test then, but I did pick this up. Now you will have already have seen uh, this video, but I did get the new Natasha Denona Mini Love Collection as well from Sephora, but I have already done a video on that. So if you haven't seen that video, I have a link right up here as well. I don't have the eyeshadow palette with me anymore because I gave it to my mom because my mom uses those colors a lot more than I will, but I did keep the blush palette and the lipstick. So if you want to see, uh, uh, these put to use if you want to see the shades then just check out the video right up here it's really cute and I use the entire collection so I did pick these up as well and then last but certainly not least I got this from bite beauty it is their new mascara you guys know how much I love trying new mascaras and it is the uh, full volume mascara oh upswing the upswing mascara that's a cute name wow I did not realize that this packaging was gonna be so big I didn't know, but here's what it looks like. It says Bite on the side. Did I say Bite Cosmetics? I meant to say Bite Beauty. It's Bite Beauty. Um, but here is what the... That's a really big uh, wand as well. So we are bigger and better than ever today. So the wand is really nice. It kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I already have so much mascara on. <laughs> I'll have to try this uh, in a couple of days, but I do love trying new mascaras. It's one of my favorite things to try, so I got that, and yeah, that's everything. But you guys, that has been my haul for today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you are planning to get any of the things that I did show in this haul, or if you've already got them and tried them out, let me know what you think about them in the comments because I would love to know that. But I really hope that you did enjoy the video. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to. If you want to see the videos that I post and when I post them, click the little bell down at the bottom there and make sure you set it to all so that YouTube knows that you want to see my videos. Again, my name is Kenzie. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!